to I'm here presenting a title. It's been a while since you, we've heard from the Marvel vs. Capcom series. We had Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and I'm here today to announce Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Uh, along with Capcom's revival of the fighting genre, we're bringing back our Versus series in a big way. And uh, this is just the first in one of many announcements that will uh, accompany the game before it's released. We really started working in development in summer 2008, but all the contract and legal negotiations, that came way before that as well. So we were in production, well, we started to produce uh, this game before uh, the success of Marvel's Capcom 2 as a downloadable title. Yeah, if you look at where both Marvel and Capcom are now to where they were when Marvel's Capcom 2 came out, they're both much bigger companies. And with that, there's a whole bowl of issues that accompany that. Both companies have a lot more content, a lot of newer IPs that didn't exist many years ago. And then there's the, all the licensing issues that relate to that. And on our side, Capcom's development side, we decide uh, what kind of characters we want to see in this game. And then we make up a list and then we bring it to Marvel. And they look at it and say, uh, sorry, you can't use this guy, use this one instead. And they give us suggestions and that helps us refine the process. And of course, they have their own needs and what they want to see in this type of game. So then they provide us with their own list and we try to mix and match and end up with a result where everyone's happy with it. Today we're announcing six characters for it that you'll be able to play as when the game comes out. On the Marvel side, you have Wolverine, Iron Man and Hulk. And on the Capcom side, we have uh, Liu, Morrigan, and Resident Evil 5's Chris Redfield. Uh, he's one of the new characters, as you'll remember, he was not in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. To round out the roster of hopefully 30 characters or so, we're looking at which characters are most popular right now, and also which characters have that flair for over-the-top moves that we can exploit for the game. Because you want to use characters that are interesting, have personality, and the ones that don't have that don't make for good fighting game characters. So we're trying to find the ones that have the right balance of personality for the game. We take the characters that people want to see, we put them in the game, and then we try to show off what will make them cool. And the cool things they do are the things that people want to be able to do easily and quickly. So we're trying to take those elements and make them as simple as possible so anyone can see these cool things that characters do right away. But at the same time, we're not forgetting that it's still a fighting game, and the people who keep playing it and look and scratch beneath the surface will see that there is significant balance to it and that there it is a meaty game for those who are looking for those elements in it. Well right off the bat, uh, M2 Framework allows us to bring out the visuals that we want to achieve for this type of game and it has a high fidelity, high quality when it comes to visuals. Uh, and then the second thing is with M2 Framework is it's just easy to use and easy to make games with and that's especially uh, cogent for us because we need to put this on multiple platforms. And Empty Frameworks allows us to utilize the best of all the systems when making a game. If we stay on schedule and we work really hard, we're looking to get it to your hands in spring 2011. Until then, uh, we've got a lot more announcements that will keep coming out until the game goes on sale, so you have them to look forward to.